Good day once again and welcome to another session on research methods. Today we will talk about uh, formatting and layouting. Not that, that you are uh, done with the data gathering and perhaps halfway through in the writing of the report. So permit me please to remind you of the following guidelines. Let me start with the title page. What uh, will appear on the title page are the following. So on top is the title, uh, which is written in uh, uppercase and in inverted pyramid format. What is inverted pyramid format? So when the title is rather too lengthy and that it cannot be uh, placed in just one line. So you will need to split uh, the title okay, in more than one line such that the uh, first uh, line will be the longest while the uh, uh, last line, the shortest, thus resembling an inverted pyramid. Below the title are the following information. So you will also notice that the distance is more or less seven to eight spaces. Okay, that's seven to eight spaces, the same spaces that you can find. Okay, uh, the uh, this information here and the last set of information. Okay, so. Uh, let me go back. Okay, so immediately following the title, we have the uh, information, a thesis presented to uh, the University of Luzon College of your college and the Gupan City. Below that, and uh, separated by uh, four spaces, okay, more or less, okay, we have impartial fulfillment of the requirements in Research 11, BPS 07, or your respective uh, course code for uh, the subject, uh, business research or tourism research, as the case may be. And then finally, we have uh, your group number, and then the month and the year of the completion. For example, uh, you intend to uh, complete it in this month of this year. So uh, what will appear below group one okay, um, are, of course, uh, May and, of course, 2021. All right. So that will be for the uh, title page. Always remember that the line uh, that the space that separates the title and the next set of information is more or less seven or eight, depending on the number of lines that you observe in the title page. The same uh, number of uh, spaces uh, below, okay. Com and uh, while the uh, space uh, in the middle is uh, narrower okay like uh, four spaces okay so this is how your title page will appear okay so just like that all right so now let me uh, proceed to the next Okay, so now let us uh, proceed to the contents of the report. Okay, so we begin with the uh, certification. The certification, by the way, is only issued after uh, you have completed okay, the uh, entire manuscript and have defended your study. Okay. So that uh, will be uh, provided by uh, uh, yours truly um, after, uh, after the oral examination, right? And then we have for the abstract, okay? So please uh, recall what we have discussed in the past. The abstract is the summary of the study and therefore will provide the highlights of the uh, research so we begin with the title and then we have the name of the researchers the course your professor and of course background of the problem okay listen up carefully what will be for the background of the problem background of the problem uh, will uh, actually summarize what you have in the rationale of the first chapter where uh, you will need to uh, have uh, around uh, three paragraphs to uh, zero in Okay, on the uh, problem situation. So I'd like to repeat, you don't necessarily 
copy and paste everything that you have in the rationale, but uh, you will need to have it summarized into three paragraphs. Okay, and the focus of the background of the problem is the local problem background situation, right? So how are you going to proceed with the writing of the background of the problem? So maybe you can have for the first paragraph, uh, the general perspective or the macro perspective, and then have the second and the third, okay? The second to uh, uh, bridge, okay? The macro to the micro. And of course, the last, uh, Paragraph will be for the uh, reason or reasons why you have focused on this particular study on a particular entity or an organization or a group of individuals, right? So that will be for the background of the problem. And then we have the statement of the problem. So there's no problem with the statement of the problem, part of the abstract, because all you have to do is to copy and paste what you have in the first chapter, right? And then methodology. So you will need to summarize what you have written in the third chapter, I'd like to uh, uh, highlight that. So methodology, part of the abstract will summarize everything that you have in the third chapter. So you begin with the method, then you have your respondents or your participants of the study. And then we have the locale or the locus of the study. We have the data gathering instrument or instrumentation, data gathering procedure. And then finally, you have your uh, analysis and interpretation of data. So it's uh, uh, what uh, will uh, be uh, made part of the methodology. Remember that this is abstract and therefore you will need to sum it up, right? Don't copy and paste everything in the third chapter and place it under methodology. <clears throat> then we have significant findings. So what will be for the significant findings? So the significant findings will summarize the uh, main points or the, 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 the main answers that you have in relation to the sub-problems. So therefore, the organization of the significant findings will be with reference to the sub-problems that you have identified in the statement of the problem. So if you have three, uh, if you have identified uh, or formulated three sub-problems, then there will be three uh, sets or groups of uh, significant findings. So uh, you will have it on a one-on-one -on -one correspondence. So um, sub-problem number one, so what will be the uh, significant findings, sub-problem two, significant findings, and so on and so forth, All right? So that will be for significance of uh, significant findings. And then we have, uh, after significant uh, findings, the conclusion. So do not repeat what you have placed in the significant uh, findings. Um, instead, uh, you will need to generalize. So the conclusion will be uh, based on the significant findings, right? So that will be for the conclusion. And then finally, we have recommendation. Recommendations uh, are a set of uh, proposals that you have on the basis of the conclusion. And uh, therefore, if you have it part of the set of sub-problems, that which will uh, propose for the improvement of the subject of investigation, for, for example, you don't necessarily have to repeat what you have part of your answer relative to that sub-problem. So all you have to uh, do is to uh, recommend, okay, uh, have it part of the recommendations, rather, the try out of that particular proposal. So that will be for the summary, uh, uh, that will be for the summary of the report uh, under uh, the so-called abstract of the study. After the abstract, you have your table of contents. So you have your preliminaries uh, uh, like a title page down to acknowledgement, okay? Uh, and pagination will be in a small Roman numeral, okay? Take note of that. The uh, uh, contents before the main chapter, okay? Uh, do not belong to the main pagination, okay? So they are separated, okay? So you need to have them in a uh, small numeral. So like, for example, title page, okay, this one, and up to uh, acknowledgement, okay? And then we have uh, chapter one, the problem and its background. So I'm not going to uh, 
discuss uh, yet on the uh, main parts. I'll forgo because I'll have this uh, part of the uh, discussion a little later, right? Okay, so let me proceed to uh, the next. So you have here the list of figures, okay? Immediately following the main table of contents, okay? Right? So that's for the list of figures. And then we have the uh, list of uh, uh, tables, if there's any, okay? And then you have your dedication, okay? And then uh, we, you have to uh, just uh, uh, place the uh, nicknames of the researchers and then followed by the following set of information. University of Luzon, Dagupan City, the month and the year of completion. And then we have acknowledgement. By the way, we will need to interchange the order. So acknowledgement first, and then we have dedication. I missed that point, right? Now for the uh, acknowledgement, so you will need to have here the researchers, okay? All right, so that will be for the preliminaries. Now, after the main chapters, okay, are the following. So you have uh, the bibliography, which is uh, to be uh, presented in the APA format, and then we have appendices. So what will be for the appendices? Initially, you will need to have the letter of request to conduct the study, okay, and then followed by uh, the a copy of the data gathering instrument and other information following, right? And then, of course, your curriculum vitae. So for the curriculum vitae, so you will need to have uh, uh, three groups of information. So the first group will be for the personal circumstances, like your name, your birth date, your address, your parents' name, if you want to. And then uh, you have for the second part, your educational background. And then we have the third part, maybe accomplishment. So you will have there uh, any um, uh, mention of any of your accomplishments uh, while in college or uh, for your, okay, uh, yeah, while in college, All right? And then do not forget to place at the upper right-hand corner two by two uh, ID picture. Okay, so two by two ID picture, maybe uh, beside your uh, personal information, right? So that will be for curriculum vitae. Now, let me now uh, remind you of what will be the main uh, chapters and the subtopics in each chapter. So we begin with the problem and its background. So you have uh, part of the problem and its background. Please note, that uh, the each part of the uh, title, the problem in its background, is not in its possessive form. Okay, so it doesn't have apostrophe. Okay, and you will need to have the article the before problem, right? So the problem and its background. So then we have rationale, and then you might want to forego theoretical framework and just have conceptual framework. All right, so that's rationale, and then we have conceptual framework. Or if you have mentioned theory, then we have theoretical slash conceptual framework. And then we have a statement of the problem, assumptions of the study. Now, if you are into correlation, you will need to have hypothesis instead of assumptions. Okay? So you will need to have hypothesis instead of assumptions. Okay? Please take note of that. And then we have scope and delimitation. We have significance of the study and then the definition of terms. Right? So please recall all the requirements for each of the subtopic, okay? So that uh, you will uh, come up with a satisfactory paper. Now, the second part will be for the review of related literature and studies. So you will have uh, two parts, uh, two part discussion. Well, one will be for the conceptual literature, okay? For the related literature, meaning the non-data materials. And then we have the research literature for the related studies. Okay, I'd like to remind you again and again the difference between uh, the conceptual literature and research literature. So you will need to only have part of the uh, first section on conceptual literature, the non-data materials, meaning these are uh, principles, concepts, constructs, legal basis, uh, theories, and so on and so forth. 
uh, that are not part of previous studies, okay? Or that are not part of uh, uh, findings or data uh, data uh, taken from uh, previous studies or not even conclusions or recommendations. And then uh, we have the research literatures. For the research literature, uh, that's where you will uh, have all the uh, results of uh, previous studies uh, uh, presented. Okay. So, so that will be for the conceptual literature and research literature. And after your research literature, a paragraph or two will be provided for the synthesis. Again, after your research literature, automatically the uh, the last paragraph or the last two paragraph uh, paragraphs will be on the synthesis of the second chapter. So, what is the synthesis? It's the uh, uh, discussion uh, highlighting the contributions of your conceptual as well as your research literature to the present study. So you don't need any more a side head title synthesis. Okay? So you just have it uh, immediately after the last line or the last paragraph of the research literature part. All right? Then uh, we have the third chapter. So research design. Okay? So please be mindful of the title of the prescribed title. So we have research design and then we have um, for the uh, uh, for the uh, first subtopic, so it's no longer uh, re research method to be used. It's already research method used because this time around you are already uh, you are already uh, finalizing your uh, report. Okay, so you will need to convert automatically. Okay, so you will need to convert automatically uh, the uh, uh, tenses of verbs in the uh, future okay, or present tense in their past tense form, right? So that is true to your inside text. And then we have locale of the study. And then we have respondents. We have instrumentation, data gathering procedure. And then we have a statistical treatment of data in that particular order. All right. So if you are doing an assessment study, you don't place it you don't place uh, here respondents of the study. Instead, you have the subject of the study, okay, for assessment, okay. And then we have uh, presentation analysis and interpretation of data. So the uh, side head titles will uh, depend on uh, your uh, specific uh, problems. So if you have identified three sub problems, then there shall be three. Uh, main sections and then you will need to also provide uh, uh, titles which you will have to place at the center okay all right so that will be for the uh, fourth chapter again the titles will be based on the uh, number of uh, sub problems that you have identified in the statement of the problem so if you have uh, formulated three sub problems, then uh, you will need to present three sections, okay, under chapter four, okay. So you will have to have one on one correspondence you know, um, of the uh, statement of the problem and the uh, subsections in the fourth chapter. And finally, you have your summary, conclusions, and recommendations. So here, you will need to combine already the summary and the findings. So it is under summary of findings. And then we have conclusion and then your recommendation. Okay? So that's uh, for the format and the uh, layout and the guidelines that uh, uh, will guide you in the completion of your report. So with that, I say thank you, everyone. God bless and keep safe.